Snake Island lies off the coast of Brazil in the Atlantic Ocean. It has the highest concentration of venomous snakes in the world and is the only home of one of the world's most endangered and deadliest snakes, the Golden Lancehead Viper. Its Portuguese name is Ilha da Queimada Grande, which translates to Great Burned Island, referring to the deforestation performed by locals to clear the land for a banana plantation. Located approximately 33 kilometers off the coast of the state of Sao Paulo, Brazil, the island is thought to be home to approximately 430,000 snakes. More than half of the island is covered by rainforest, with the remaining area consisting of barren rocks and open grassland, the result of deforestation. Although some claim that the snakes were put onto the island by pirates hoping to protect their gold, in reality, the island's dense population of snakes evolved over thousands of years without human intervention. Around 11,000 years ago, sea levels rose enough to isolate the island from the mainland, causing the species of snakes that lived on the island to evolve on a different path than their mainland brethren. The snakes that became stranded on the island had no ground-level predators, allowing them to reproduce rapidly. This also meant, however, that they had to climb trees to find food, the main source of which was birds. Often, snakes stalk their prey, bite, and wait for the venom to do its work before tracking the prey down again. But the golden lancehead vipers can't track the birds they bite, so instead they evolved incredibly potent and efficient venom, three to five times stronger than any mainland snake. The venom is capable of killing most prey and can melt human flesh almost instantly. The snake's venom can also cause kidney failure, necrosis of muscular tissue, brain hemorrhaging, and intestinal bleeding. From 1909 to the 1920s, a few people did live on the island in order to run its lighthouse. According to local legend, the last lighthouse keeper, along with his entire family, died when several snakes made their way into his home through an open window. There are currently no human inhabitants on the island. In fact, the Brazilian Navy has closed the island to the public, only allowing select research teams. Even then, it is required that a doctor and full medical kit containing antivenoms be present on any legally sanctioned visits. Because of the black market demand by scientists and animal collectors, wildlife smugglers, known as biopirates, have been known to visit the island. They trap the snakes and sell them through illegal channels, with a single golden lance head costing anywhere from $10,000 to $30,000. Habitat degradation, as a result of removal of vegetation by the Brazilian Navy, as well as disease, have damaged the island's population, which has dwindled by nearly 50% in the last 15 years. Some estimate one snake for every square meter, so there is heavy competition for resources. Because of the low population of the Golden Lanceheads worldwide, the snake was labelled critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species. It was also placed on the list of Brazil's endangered animals. 